y'all, it's me and Irish Seamoss. And if you are interested in learning which Seamoss is the best Seamoss, which Seamoss company sends the Seamoss out to you in a timely manner, please stay tuned. So what I wanna show you is the first company that I received some Seamoss from I think this was on Etsy. It was from her Etsy shop. And I'm blocking out to my address. If you guys did not know, my real name is Salima. So I'm blocking out my address. But I will go ahead and put the price of what it costs to get the CMOS. And this came directly from Jamaica. You see um, all of the information here on the outside of the envelope from Jamaica and i you only need a small amount so this is the amount that i used and i ordered two bags of purple sea moss from her company because you know i did not realize that you only needed a small amount i was just very curious to see what it was all about and yeah this was the first company that i got the sea moss from this was not the first company that i ordered the sea moss from the first company that I ordered the CMOS from was Vital Vegan. And I ordered a bag of the golden CMOS and a bag of purple CMOS. And you can look at the sizes of these two bags. And I only used a very small amount of gold CMOS from this bag. And you can see that the bag was not full at all this bag had a significantly less amount of sea moss in it and this was actually the first company that i ordered the sea moss from i will go ahead and put on the screen now how much it costs to purchase the sea moss although this was the first sea moss that i ordered this was the last one that i received it took an extremely long time for me to receive the CMOS, extremely long time. I have used the CMOS one time. This is what it looks like. The second order of CMOS I received was from Fruits and Roots. And I've actually used this bag a couple of times. This is what their CMOS looks like. You have to clean the sea moss extremely well. I don't know what these little black things are. It feels, smells very fishy too, by the way. I actually ordered two bags. So this was full, just like this bag. I'm gonna go ahead and list the price of the sea moss from Fruit and Roots. Right now on the screen so that you can see that. This didn't take long to get, but it took a couple of emails back and forth because I, I received an email saying that my package was on the way, but it really wasn't on the way. And I had to send an email and then I received the package and then I got an email back saying I should have received my package. So I, I thought that was interesting. This came from Miami, Florida. This is the king of all sea mosses, Akeem Pierre. And he has a YouTube channel and it is extremely hard to get his sea moss because he sells out three times. I had it in my cart and then when I went to pay, it was out of the cart. <laughs> it was that he had sold out. So finally, I was able to get a hold of his sea moss. I will go ahead and put the price right there so that you'll know how much it cost. I've used his sea moss, I think two or three times and the bag is still full. This is what his sea moss looks like. This has the little black spots too, but not as many black spots as the fruit roots. His sea moss is in the waters of St. Lucia. He actually lives in Canada, 
So that's where this package came from. Really nice. Love, love, love. Yeah. I ordered the sea moss from Akeem Pierre fourth, and I received it third. If that makes any sense. His came faster than the sea moss from Vital Vegan, even though this is who I ordered from first. Let's look at all of the sea mosses so that you can see if there's any differences between them. Because I did not order any gold sea moss from Yaga Lifestyles, I'm not really going to show you a comparison because I only have one sea moss to compare it to, and that is the one from Vital Vegan, and I have not opened up that package yet. So you can see that they they don't necessarily look the same. The two that are from Jamaica look a little bit more similar. Okay. But then when I look at the one from St. Lucia, these two are kind of like skinny, like skinny spaghetti, but the colors are different. This is significantly lighter than this one. Regarding the smells, this one smells extremely fishy, but there it's in the sea. It's sea moss, so it should smell fishy. And I don't know what these little black things are. I don't, I guess it's stuff from the sea. I have no idea what that is. And then this one doesn't have as many as the others. Regarding taste, <laughs> hands down, the Irish sea moss from Akeem Pierre is the absolute best. It doesn't even compare to the other two. That's how good his sea moss is. It melts really easily in hot water. When you clean it, it expands very, very well. It's, it's just so, so good. So I would say this is my favorite one. This one's not that bad. I, I like that the bag was very, very full, just like Akeem's bag was full. But the smell is just really interesting. And, you know, all of these little salt things, this is a lot of salt on it, is very concerning. But you, you have to clean it off anyway. You have to clean it. But it's very, extremely salty. Third place would go to the sea moss that I got from Vital Vegan. And this does not melt as well in hot water. It doesn't expand. You actually need to use more of this, but for Akeem, using this amount expands so much. You get so much sea moss just from this little small amount and you don't wanna make a lot. I see a lot of people with these big giant mason jars of sea moss, and I'm like, how much sea moss is you eating? I eat maybe two tablespoons a day, and I try to make sea moss every week, every two weeks. Will I order from Vital Vegan ever again? Absolutely not. Will I order from Fruit and Roots? Maybe, but I will definitely order again from Akeem Pierre. And if you can get a hold of his sea moss, I highly suggest it. So I think I'm going to make a separate video on how I prepare the sea moss. If you are interested in seeing that video, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I finally get that video up and leave a comment down below. Have you tried sea moss? Have you heard about the benefits of sea moss? Are you interested in learning about the benefits of sea moss? If you are, leave that in the comment section below. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks.